I'm Megan Linder, and I'm here in Los Angeles with Emma Cragen and her father, Ken Cragen, to talk about the book, The Twelve Dogs of Christmas, a children's book written by Emma that was recently released on DVD as a live action film. Thank you so much for joining us, Emma and Ken. Thank um, you. So, I want to start with you, Emma. This book was written a few years back. Yeah, I wrote it when I was seven on the back of a placemat in a restaurant um, when I was up with my family around Christmas time. It kind of started out with some drawings of dogs and then it evolved into a whole book. How did you come up with the idea to change days to dogs? I don't know, I was really into dogs, so I, it just kind of happened. So then it was made into a movie, which Ken, you had more to do with. The book was a huge bestseller. We, we, it amazed us. We were asked to make a movie by Sony Pictures. Unfortunately, when we were getting started to make the movie, they closed the division, fired everybody in that division, and we were sitting there with a, what was then a treatment, yeah. and we went out and made it on our own. It's a story about kids, dogs, Christmas, and faith in small miracles. And how involved were you then in the, in the story? Because it was such a great transformation of your book to that story. That's what I was blown away by when I saw the DVD. I was involved a lot with going through the process of getting the actors and I watched a lot of casting sessions and I was reading through different versions of the script. And you guys had a newcomer, um, Jordan Claire Green, play Emma in it, which obviously is based off of you, correct? Yeah. The director, <laughs> so nice he named the lead character after Emma. Aww. So we have uh, Emma in the movie and, and the real Emma here. The script for this movie was actually written for a boy to play the lead. And the director and I, and I think Emma might have been there, were casting yeah. And in walked Jordan Claire Green, this delightful, charming, perfect for the part young woman. So he, the director went home that night and rewrote the lead part for a girl. How, how crazy was it? Were there just so many dogs on the set? None of them were trained. Only uh, the poodle that sat in the doghouse the whole film was a trained dog. <laughs> and you never know it from the film. If you when you watch the uh, the DVD. Yeah. It's amazing because the dogs seem to all do exactly what yeah. they should do. Of course, that took a lot of doing with untrained dogs. We had some brilliant <laughs> dog trainers. So the movie has several messages, but what do you guys feel is the most important message? I think overcoming difficult situations, uh, the fact that everything's possible, uh, the little girl in this movie, you know, wins a town over, gets a town to take dogs back that's banned them, uh, gets her her life back together, her own life. There's a lot of nice lessons in the film, and, and perhaps the fact that, uh, I don't know, that you should have faith in miracles. Did you ever in a million years think that your 12 Dogs of Christmas that you drew on a placemat would go this far? Not at all. I didn't even expect it would be a book. It was just drawings on the back of a placemat when I was seven. Emma and Ken, it was a pleasure talking with you guys today, and thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah, thanks very much. It was our pleasure. The Twelve Dogs of Christmas is an amazing, heartwarming tale of man's best friend. While it is set during the holidays, it is a story for any season. And it is definitely a movie that your whole family can enjoy together. So get the book and DVD for your family. I'm Megan Linder and goodbye. When I took the book and sent it to a publisher, it was a publisher that I was had a book deal with. Mm -hmm. They ended up publishing Emma's book and dropping mine. <laughs> Well, I gotta tell you, from the sales it did, they were right. <laughs>